Hi right, there, welcome to number one Geek and his eyes, Saz, and we're back with some more Cosmeteer. Now, we have some serious work to do on this back burner. Um, we found it was slow, and so we need to go into this mode here. Right, so let's first things first. I want to pop that there. And pop that one there. So we've now moved our weapons into a more favourable position, perhaps, would I would we say? Maybe. I'll put, yeah, I'll put those back, actually. That would probably be the better idea there, Saz. Um, let's pop some armour pieces. There and there, just to give us a little bit more oomph, so to speak. Right, okay. Now, our, our other major issue at this very point in time is the lack of speed. So we want to have a look at our thrust capacity. Now, we can either increase the thrust capacity itself, or what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to delete that and delete that. Oh, I have to pull control for that. That's fine. And see if I can tack on a large thruster each side. There we go. And let's pop some corridoring in there. And there, because that might mean I can put in another... I know what I'm talking about, don't worry. <laughs> uh, put in another room of some sort. And we can put armour there, armour there, armour there, and armour there. And that, hopefully... mean we have more than one opportunity here um, let me have a think I guess we can put in a storage room here now the question is can I put a door yeah I can put a door in there which now means that I can also put in a smaller bunk crew quarters. Here. So that's giving us more space. I guess I could put another airlock hatch here, couldn't I? There. Right, well, let's make that so. And hopefully... What we can do now is we can contact the station. We can get some more personnel. Apparently I can hire four people, so I'll hire all four. That's good. Right. We can take a fugitive bounty while we're at it. Can we take more people from here? Oh, we can hire four to fill all our beds here as well. That's good. Right, so. We're now going to see... Well, here's our uh, our target. Let's just see how fast these, these bad boys are now. Apart from one getting stuck. Oh, those guys haven't even gone in. Oh, crap. I hadn't even joined. Whoops. Okay. Let's get ready to slow it down. There we go. Right, so. Back burner over there. What have we got to fire at here? It's a horse fly. Okay. And we'll use... Back burner. If I take those two out. Okay. That has pretty much. Ow. <laughs> I think. We may have just picked up our third ship. 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to board. I think, hold on, let's uh, do our repairs first. Does this one need a repair? No, so... Right, so I'm going to board. Is it the horsefly there? Yeah. So, send two crew over. Right, insufficient steel. But can we transfer some steel over? Because what I want to do is I want to turn this one into my, um, my mining ship and uh, processing ship. So, let's have a look, see what we've got around here. Can we... Transfer some steel over. Do we have steel? No, we don't. Okay. Back burner, do you have steel? No. Okay. Well, first things first. I'm pretty sure I saw some uh, stuff lying around. And I also guess we could get some plates, couldn't we? Alright, my storage is full, apparently. Insufficient steel. Ah, we don't... Ha, ba da ba da. It might be that we're going to have to find a way around this, don't we? They're dead, they're dead. See, I wonder if I can get this back to this station here. Might be a bit tricky. No, I, th I think. Oh, what are we going to do here? I'll tell you what we'll try do. Do we have a storage area? Cruise quarters. Insufficient steel. Yeah. Right, let's get out of that. Let's transfer. Ooh, no. We'll transfer uh, resources. And we'll throw all the Hyperium over. Here's the major problem we've got here, is that we don't have enough to... Oh, can I actually build something? That's the question. So, I don't need those guns. I don't need that. But it might be able to give me a chance to... Oh, okay. I wonder if I sacrifice that one. And build, or repair, that one. With that. Sort out any issues. Okay, here's another idea. Got, got... Let's, uh, first things first. Let's remove that. And that. And then we'll use that to repair that. What? 
I got the steel from, from the corridor, man. There we go. Okay, so we at least got something in every direction now. So hopefully... Should be able to move. Not very fast, mind you. But we got there in the end. It is moving, isn't it? Very slowly. We can sort of make it back. Okay. So we're finally here. Didn't seem quite right there, but whatever. Okay, so first things first. Let's hail the station. Let's get our bounty. Okay, now we'll take the opportunity to go into uh, super mode. We can... Pop that there for a second. What I want to do is maybe put a 16 storage section there. Let's improve our thrust vectoring. Not that side. Oh, I'll put it that side for a moment because I need to delete this. Wait a second. I'm not. In oh, idiot. Right, let's uh, move this back to somewhere a bit safer. Move that back one, at least. So, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make ourselves like a, almost like a cargo ship. So, what I also want to do is pop in a mining laser. Maybe if I put it that side, so that makes it a little bit more asymmetrical. I could probably, just for shits and giggles, put a bunk bed in here. There we go. Now, we'll delete. Give our ship some sort of fighting chance if it ends up being caught in a in a, a firefight. That there. The fire extinguisher there. Good move. There and there. Placing some thrust there. I don't have enough money to make this, so uh, we'll do leave the ship behind for the moment. I guess I could put a six storage in there, couldn't I? Like that. As I say, this is going to be our mining ship, so it's going to have a lot of work done in it. But for the moment, we are going to uh, at least grab these guys and get a new fugitive bounty. Eliminate flanks and light escorts. Right, where are they? They're over here. Okay, let's go this way. They seem to be coming for us. Instead of the firefly. So if I go to the back burner and blow off that cannon and then go to the model L and blow off that cannon. Oh should be good. Any damage on either ship? No, we're okay. Okay, well that's neutralised. What are you firing at? Okay, so. Model L. Take that out. Back burner. Take that out. Okay, back burner. Take out that weapon there. Oh, 
can we take out here? Let's go for the cockpit, this side. Oh, is that it? Okay, I think the back burner took a little bit more damage. But survivable. Right, well, we've got two ships that uh, can be taken apart. Now, this is where we'd need our... Oh, it's doing it again. So we'll put that one there. And we'll put this one here. That'll take that apart. And this one can take all this apart. Right, so the Model L's now kind of... Uh, Plain cover now. There we go. That's the ship done. And the nice thing is, is I can actually use this ship here to call in the uh, the fugitive bounty. So at this point, um, you may have noticed that uh, I'm not moving. Uh, that's because I mispressed my record button to record after I'd finished what I was thought was recording. This is due to Steam Deck now actually not showing an animation when you press the record button, so I didn't know whether I was actually recording or not. So, we missed out on a little bit, but basically, uh, we managed to collect all the bits and goods and a hell of a lot of money to be able to actually build the uh, mining ship. So we're going to do that for the next episode. So, can you possibly press that like button or put something in the comment section, maybe even name some of the ships for me. Uh, just help with the old YouTube algorithm. And uh, press that um, subscribe and bell icon to get updated when I upload new content to YouTube. Anyway, that's all from me. Take care, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.